Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host White of NLD and today we are starting a new line of episodes from the game Splinter Cell Blacklist. I hope you guys are excited for this, I've actually only played this game once before and as you can see now we're gonna play it on Perfectionist Difficulty. find you no need general we're coming to America contract says no weapons not on this kind of op who needs to know general McGowan but this might make you feel better Little souvenir I picked up in Indonesia. Thanks, Vic, but if I need a karambit for aerial recon, we've got bigger problems. Can't hurt. Hey, where's Charlie with that sat phone? Huh? Hey, sorry. Just putting the finishing bits of awesome on this puppy. Signal skips base combo completely. What for? Keeps the DOD types from backseat driving. That's why you're here, kid. Sam. Let's move. Uploading. We're in. Teams, this is King. We are go. Han says go. Bishop says go. Knight says go. Rook is go. Queen says go. Anything else, Chief? Let Sarah know I'll be offline for a few days. Sarah, she's still single, right? No, that's... I'm gonna take that as a no. Stop hacking base IT. We're guests here. Yeah, but they make it so easy. Video's up. Engaging two hostiles. I've got it. Site F encryption keys, 40 days until expiration. Hostiles are down. Let's go. Jam everything and move out. The blacklist is live. Now. Anderson Tower, this is Paladin 02 requesting permission to lift off. Do you copy? Radio up. Radio's working fine. Anderson Tower, this is Paladin 02 requesting permission to lift off from Chopper Pad Alpha Niner. Well, we're behind. Fuck the protocol. Need to make it back in time from a gallon's Texas Hold'em game? How do you think I'm paying for the chopper? <sighs> Leave him. Team report. Bravo's go. Move in. Yeah. <sighs> 
We make the base. Just outside the perimeter. Shake a leg. We're a big target out here. Ah. Uh, Vic, give me a hand. I'm stuck. Charlie Sackfeld. Yeah. Oh, shit. You guys okay? What the fuck is happening? Chopper's down. We're fine. Munitions depot must have been hit. Where are you? Hiding under a truck with my laptop? Listen, guys, all the radio channels are down. It's gotta be an RF jammer. There's a signal northwest of you. All right, you sit tight. We'll find the jammer. Come on. Yeah, I'll bet those sons of bitches are using one of our jammers. What makes you say that? That's what I do. Eyes open, Sam. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Guys, it's go time. Crows, we're not even packing cider. As you could hear by now, I am not Ready talking during cutscenes, so you guys can fully appreciate the story. First, I'm gonna have a little check for the controls, just to remember what every button is. It's been a long time since I played this game, so need to get back into it, of course. I apologize in advance if uh, at some points I screw up. I'm still gonna try and complete this game on uh, perfectionist mode, but it might not all be completely stealth, but I'm gonna do my best to make it mostly stealth. Jesus, Holy shit. Fire. Sounded like Katusha's. He's right there! I'm on it! That's another good way to go. Why is it in st stealth games that you always have to crawl through sewer dra drainage pipes and stuff like that? Sick, don't move. Oh, ah, shit. Okay, he ain't gonna be in the next um, Splinter Cell game. Okay, all clear. Quick, give me a boost up. He's all messed up. Okay, so, so far this is all tutorial. This this episode will mostly be a lot of cinematics and not a lot of gameplay or commentary. Copy. It's one friendly, two hostiles. Which is the one on the left? I got the right. Yeah. Get the camera going. Bravo Company just back to Corporal. They're free. And yeah, as you can see now, since I'm gonna go for stealth gameplay, I'm gonna go for non-lethal takeouts. I only want to kill him. It's absolutely necessary. So yeah, here I already screwed up a couple of times, so I actually cut out a part and... Well, basically, I cut to the part where it went actually the right way. Also to take a little bit off the time, because these videos are going to be pretty long. But the, tr the true stealth fans, they will see it through. And they will tr hopefully appreciate the gameplay that I'm trying to give you guys. to get yourself killed Plant them there and there. I'm pretty much surrounded by now okay let's move up to this dude holy shit that was a close one Whew. okay right past you doing what you're doing. No. Holy shit. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Good boy. Good boy. Now say good night. Okay, let's get let's get through there. Okay. Oh man. Get 
friendly. You know how to disable that thing? I'm working on it. How's the kid? Don't ask. Charlie, we're in. All right, all right. All you need to do is disable the voltage oscillator and disrupt the competing signal. Just hold still. No talking, okay? Charlie, how about an on-off switch? Uh, do you see a blue button? Yeah. Hit it. What are you saying? What are you telling me, buddy? What are you telling me? Jeez. Jammer's offline, Vic. You can't stop the blacklist. Grenade! Word of a stunning attack on the massive U.S. military installation on the island of Guam. The deadliest strike on a U.S. base since Pearl Harbor. A group calling themselves the Engineers has claimed responsibility. Released an internet video complete with chilling footage from the attack to lay out their demands. They're calling the attacks the Blacklist. The Blacklist. The Blacklist. America. This is the Blacklist. The Blacklist. One new attack every seven days. We, we have one demand. You have soldiers in 153 countries. Bring your troops home. Your troops home. Your troops home. Now. 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 For every week, we, we will, will attack you. We will not negotiate. You will not stop the blacklist. the blacklist. You have seven days until the next attack. The, the choice is yours. We, we are, are the engineers. We are the engineers. What's our status? Paladin 1 and the 4th Echelon team are ready, Madam President, but we can't locate Mr. Fisher. His friend is fighting for his life. Find Victor Cost, you'll find Sam. Hundreds dead in Guam, a countdown to more attacks targeting America. The world is looking for answers, Mr. Fisher, and I don't have any. 4th Echelon needs to find them, and it can't do that without a leader. It's distraught, Vic. One of Vic's men comes with me, no questions asked. You can have Charlie Cole. And Grimm's daughter has recruited one of the CIA's best for mission support. Isaac Briggs. And Grimm is out. She didn't want you on this mission either. Sorry, Sam, that's a non-starter. Nobody works better with you than she does. Welcome to Fourth Echelon, Mr. Fisher. Like I said, a lot of cutscenes. It's pretty sweet, right? First time in a plane. No. A deeper read with this engineer's organization. Nothing yet. Briggs and our contacts are isolating probable candidates. What about the names? American freedom, American blood. Potential attacks, each with a timer. We got five days before American consumption. And counting. We're running analytics to find the target locations as we speak. I'll get you up to speed on the plane. Prototype military transport. Loaded with custom modifications. Armory, infirmary, holding cell. Every resource that you'd have on the ground. We're fully mobile. It's like the good old days. Problem breaks? It's got my subdermal radio put in. Felt like someone used a jackhammer. This puppy makes Air Force One look like a paper airplane, hey, Sam? Do you want to discuss potential upgrades? Later. Walk me through this. News and internet data mining, predictive analytics, photo and video forensics. Plus backdoors into foreign ELIN systems and facial recognition integration from the CIA, NSA, DCS, FBI. All in real time. This is what you were bragging about? Yes, am I? Strategic mission interface. We've made significant improvements since the early system Charlie worked on. I'll let him get you up to speed. The best thing is, you can control everything from right here or from your opsat when you're on the ground. Impressive. Okay, well, let me know if you need anything. I'm gonna check out my new digs. Thanks, Charlie. Okay, so, so far for the first couple of cinematics, let's have a little exploring to do. Let's get to know Briggs. Hey, fella. Briggs. How's it hanging? You settled in yet? I'm working on it. 
I usually get a lot more prep time before I'm wheels up on a mission. CIA is too big to move fast. Operation like this has got to be agile if it's going to work. Understood. Just wish I had a little more planning time. You'll adjust. Okay, so we can follow all our progress here. That's uh, neat. That's all for now. Looking forward to working with you, sir. Let's hang out with the rest of the gang. Sam. Nice, Grim. Grim. Hey, bitch. What's Listen, up? Listen, Sam, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Thought maybe we should clear the air. History is history. That's it? Like you said, we've got a lot of work to do. Okay, so plane upgrades, those are always handy. This basically comes down all to personal preference. Since I like to be fully aware of my surroundings in stealth games, I'm obviously going to go for the radar. <coughs> I guess everyone has his own unique way of playing games like these. This. Sorry for that. And mine is just that I really want to know everything that's around me. I like to have a nice overview before I go in. But I also have seen some people that do it basically going in blind. And I really respect that, but it's just not my way to play this. I want to get up the stairs. Let me go up. Okay, maybe not. Sick bay. I guess. Must be a lot of beeping machines and a red cross on the door. Let's see what, he, what we have in our trunk. Sweet! How cool is that? Having a helicopter in the back of your plane. Now that's hardcore. I have to hand it, he, he does have a good memory because that passcode... Damn, that's long, son. How the hell do you memorize something that long? Like an extra phone number. And he just got on the plane. I would I like to order some pizza. Me. Oh, my yeah. bad. Hi. How are you? I saw the news in the Blacklist video and it's... I'm fine. I can't tell you where I am or what I'm doing. But... Of course you can't. But you're okay? And Uncle Vic's okay? Vic. It's part of why I called. Vic got hurt in Guam. Hurt bad. But he's gonna be alright. Tell me he's gonna be alright. Well, you know, he's tough. And they're gonna take good care of him. That's not an answer, Dad. Where is he? Walter Reed, I could be there in an hour. Look, you don't have to do anything. He's on a medvac plane to Landstone. Charlie's keeping tabs on him for me. As soon as he hears something, anything you let me know, okay? You hear me, Dad? Yeah, I will. Right now, I, uh, I gotta go. Of course you do. Let me know you're alive once in a while, alright? <laughs> I will. I love you, Dad. Love you too, kiddo. Okay. I guess no pizza. Can you confirm? Sam, I think Charlie's got some new gear he's working on. Setup almost complete, Charlie. Yeah, hang on. Ow! <laughs> hey, hey, Sam. We're uh, pretty much good to go here. Just gotta overclock a couple of components and then see if my supply rack gets approved by Her Majesty. 
Let me know if you have any problems. Okay. Pretty tricked out workshop, huh? I'll be able to upgrade and repair most of our equipment, and if we've got enough cash and the right supplies, then I can test out some sick mods for your gear. Sounds like I'm in good hands. You know it. Hey, you need anything right now? Yeah. You might want to look into a helmet. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so here we can customize nice our work, shit. Charlie. Thanks. But if I remember correctly, we can also do it at the suit. Which looks way more badass than Charlie's face. Exactly. Thank the gods I still have some of the DLC that I got from the past time that I owned and played this game. Yeah, I'm sticking with classic green. Time to upgrade the pistol. Not that I have any intention on using it much, but still handy to have. And with that, we're also coming towards the end of this video. So I'm going to tell you right now, I hope you all enjoyed this, even though it was uh, not that much gameplay. I hope to see you all for episode 2. Keep it safe, keep it cool, keep it real, and peace out.